Indeed I did. Indeed you did. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We are waiting. No, we're not really waiting. I'm playing. We are live. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you got my phone? I do have okay. your phone because you don't ever know what we're doing. I don't even know where I put it. So, you know, those, the bouncing sounds you hear are the cats in the background. I'm sure they're loud enough to hear. Probably because there's some loud thuds. I don't know what's going on over there. They're getting in my makeup. There was a very unusual <clears throat> sound, but that's all right. Something in there fell over. So, hey, Probably guess what? Uh, what? Uh, I think we're back for another episode. Are we? What really matters. That's what I think. We're just doing it on a Sunday night. It is Sunday, right? Yeah. Well, we told everybody we're going to start trying to do a few more things. Right? and So we've been planning, and we've got a few fun things and a few... We're going to start doing some food things, and we're going to start doing some fun, you know, whatever our favorite products are and different things like that to help kind of shake things up. Tuesday nights will always still be um, our more serious topics, can we do even like, though we have fun on those nights. But why don't you go ahead Can and, we, like, make fondue and say fondue matters? Because that would be good. That'd be fun. Um, <laughs> so beef, let's just... Meat fondue, beef. Introduce us so we can yeah. talk about what we're going to do tonight. Well, won't this is let Michelle, me. beautiful wife. That's hot toddy. Mm -hmm, hot, sure. hot toddy. Sure. And we got another topic tonight. Um, it's kind of a question topic. What was the question? Do you even know me? Because well, I don't think you do. Psst. Whatever. So what couples say, right? Right. But this is just more for than just couples. What about parents to their kids, especially once they're adults or teenagers? Right? I mean, you've got to get to know them. Got to. Um, siblings yeah. and, you know, you've got a friend. And this is all about really creating some intimacy with uh, somebody that you're wanting to become closer with. Relationships. And sometimes people have a hard time with knowing what to do. So we have a few questions that we're going to ask each other. Well, it is harder than it seems, and sometimes okay. it's really not. You have no room to talk when it comes to building relationships. None. <laughs> none, none. Because I've had to work really hard at this one. Just to get me to and where I am. And you don't really want to have a whole lot of other friends because, I mean, we discussed this earlier. Moving around, all the stuff going up you know, made it difficult. And I'm, on the other hand, wanting to constantly, mm. not constantly, but be with other people and enjoy life. Enjoy life. I'm not, <laughs> apparently, I'm not enjoying life. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, what we're going to do tonight is we have a list of questions. Which I'm going to put a PDF up in a little while um, that just kind of gives some examples of things that you can ask. And if you're, you know, we've been married 30 years, and some of these things... Um, I would ask him. I might know, but the reality is... still gives us something to talk about, uh, even if you think you know everything. Take, well, but even... Okay, anyway. so when we, when we... Earlier, when I pulled it up, I asked him one of the questions. and we I got said, emotional. I said, I know the answer to this one for you. And he goes, okay. So I answered it. And he was like, well, that and this. And so there's still some give and take where you get to know each other. Sure. Um, we did get pretty serious on a couple of the answers because, well, you know... It, we just got emotional over it. But those are things that you get to do <clears throat> as husband and wife or as friends or, like I said, whoever it is that you're really wanting to get to know. We did this based on there are so many spouses that right. don't talk to each other um, and get, you know, they work all day. They have kids. They come home. They're busy. They're constantly going. But this part is not happening, and they just don't know what to say. Well, here's a few questions. Just ask him. Right. And, you know, and say, hey, you know, we just want to spend 15 minutes. It's fun. Minutes it's easy. Getting, it can be as loose or as serious as you want it to be. Well, I mean, it's not as dumb as, it like, what's your forward. favorite color? Because hopefully you know that about your spouse. Well, we, you might not know that about your friend. Some people don't. <laughs> but, you know. Well, I mean, but that's what I mean. You, you, you can right. add whatever questions. If right. you don't know, what's your favorite color? Black gray right i would guess gray mm -hmm. i was gonna guess gray and then i was like could be black but gray my favorite color everybody knows so what color is that 
You tell me. Yellow. <laughs> you like sunflowers. It's purple, people. It is. Okay, so let's get on with this. We're going to do questions. <laughs> um, I don't remember the red and the green. What is that? Red's us. Green's them. Okay. We've got a whole bunch so more, but we just give you a sampling. We've got some questions we're going to actually ask and answer. And then we have some questions we're just going to read to you, kind of like we think they're good questions. Just something fun for you to think about. But not necessarily going to answer Maybe them. it'll entice you to look at the rest of the list. Now, the whole point is, this whole list, da, 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 there's... 39 questions on here. Is there? Yeah. You would take turns asking the same question. So what I ask him, he yeah. would answer. And then for both of us. he would ask me, so I would answer, so that you're getting to know each other. We've been married almost 30 years or 30 years. I can't remember. We've been together for 30 years. Um, you don't remember? Well, well yeah. You don't remember. None 29. of us are going to know. <laughs> 29 years in March is when we were married. 30 years, September 2nd, from the day we met. Close enough. Yeah. So, for my what, whole thing is, though, there's still, there are still things we're getting to know about each other. And that's what we want to tell you. So, it doesn't matter if you... If, this is for anybody just getting to know each other or whether you've been married a bunch, a long time. Even or if you if think you know it all, friends do it or family anyway. or other people. You'd be so, shocked. let's get on with this. We're just rattling away and just I'm being rattling. silly. Okay. Silly, silly us. So the first question is, give the choice of any anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest and why? Oh, that one is, oh, we're not really answering that one. That's yeah, when no, I got that, emotional. That one, that one oh. you're really answering. It's in red. We're answering the reds? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah. Okay, so, well, I know who you would ask for dinner. Who's that? Well, originally, my answer was Ronald Reagan. That'd be good. Obviously, it's dead or alive. Yeah, so. we don't care. Dead or alive, doesn't matter. I mean, it just says, who would you have? Um, <laughs> and so then he answered, yes, but then William Shatner, because, oh my gosh. someone alive. <laughs> he's, a, he's a Star Trek, you know, nut and loves William Shatner, and he's a lot of fun. And the old guy show, whatever that was that we watched recently with Henry Winkler and him and all that was kind of fun, you know? And so he would yeah. just like to sit down and have a chat with him. Oh, that's awesome. And so my answer to that question, if I had an opportunity to have dinner with anyone in the world, who would I want as my dinner guest? Right. Um, is either one or both of our moms. My mom passed away 14 years ago, almost 15. And his mom passed away... A few months ago, mm -hmm. I would dearly love to have dinner with them. Now, if we're going to go with somebody famous... Together, that would be hoot, too. My mom and your mom. Yeah. And us. Um, it would be a hoot. Because their would be personalities fun. are so... Opposite. Opposite, yes. Um, They'd still get along, but I just mean that they just... Well, they did. The we way used they to have, see they the world was so different. They used to be together a lot. Yeah. So, um, if I wanted somebody famous, I'm trying to think who would be the famous one that I wouldn't want to see the most. Because there's just so many. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Neil Diamond. All right, never mind. That just, ah, just came to me. What happened? <laughs> ah, it just came to me. Neil Diamond. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'd, oh, yeah. 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 Okay. I would talk to Neil, Neil Diamond. Diamond. Okay, so. Not here's, any of the other old actors? She likes old people. I do like old people. That's why I married you. Uh, so no old son, Han Solos or anything like that. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd have dinner with him, but that's not. It's not like. It, I mean, yeah. he's not my. It's no. He's third, fourth down on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Prince, Michael Jack, and my son just tried calling me, so now he's going to call on the yeah. cell phone on anyway. his dad's cell phone because we so, just went away for a minute. That was one we just asked. Here's another one we could ask that you could just think about. We're not necessarily going to answer this one, but uh, an example would be, would you like to be famous and in what way? Now, obviously, right. you're asking this to the other person you wanted to know about. Right. The question isn't all that. The answer that you're going to get from this very simple question is, it could be very interesting uh, because it's not so much about uh, would you like to be famous, it's the in what way. That's where the get to well, know you part comes in, you know. Right, but we're not asking that no, one tonight. Not right I now. mean, these are just ones, again. We're just throwing that one out there. So right. that was a fun one. Yeah. 
For, so it's going to require a while to talk. About. We've had a few more come on. And what we're doing is talking about how to get to know each other, whether you're wanting to know your adult children better, your siblings, a friend, or your spouse. Yeah. Because spouses sometimes have a hard time, especially with work and kids and all that. So we're just throwing some stuff out there. We're going to put a PDF on our site later with questions that y'all can ask. Okay, so what's our next one? All right. If you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain... Let me start over. If you are able to live to the age of 90 and yeah. retain either the mind or body of a 30-year-old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you choose? She asked me this earlier, and I answered it. Yeah. Just like that. And what would you rather have, the body of a 30-year-old or keep your mind intact? Well, I'd much rather have my mind intact. Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Because after all, my body is much like it's... a 30-year-old, so... <laughs> yeah. Yes, it, it is. It doesn't look anything like my 30-year-old body, I can tell you that. Nah. -uh. I was it was a little old. smaller 30 years when you were 30 years old, but 30. you had already started. We had already had kids. <laughs> he started getting fat when I was having babies. Yeah. We both got fat together. Okay, so another one is name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. Is this one we're answering or uh -huh. not? I can never remember the colors. Red. Red is we're answering. Green is we're not. Okay, right. so name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. So, I'm asking you that. What do no, we have in yours. common? No. I already answered that last one. This one's yours. Well, that's not fair. I know. That's how it works out. Because you didn't answer the second one, so you got to answer this one. Well, that's because you didn't... You asked and answered. You're uh, supposed to ask and let me answer. He is not playing no, I'm in fair. Charge. I'm in charge here. <laughs> okay, so ask me the question. I just did. No, you didn't. All right. Name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. First of all, who's your partner? Well, my spouse. Oh, okay. Just making sure. But this still can in the game. again can apply to anybody. Sure. I mean, I could ask, what do I have in common with my kids? Right. If I'm trying to build a relationship with them. It's true. So for you, uh, name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. We appear. We pretend. No, I'm. <laughs> the question is worded so poorly. Well, I didn't write it. It's what do you have in common? <laughs> Now, I know some people really struggle with needing to find that they have something in common to be in a relationship. When we met, there was nothing in common at all. You were an atheist. I was a Christian. We were you human were old. Beings. I was young. We were human. We breathed there. We since lived on then, the planet. We have in common. We like to go antiquing. That is fun. Um, we like the same music. And you enjoy some of the the old Gaither stuff with me when it's the right mix. You do. It's true. You like Neil Diamond with like me. like it as long as you like it, but yeah. Just saying. Give you me, like some. Me, it says some in common. Give it's me 30 all minutes. Yeah. We both like to go shooting. We both like top golf. You know, there's things. Right. I mean, there's a lot more than that, but those are, it just said name three. So we have three. Right. Okay, so the next question is basically, we're not answering this one. It's just one you can ask for somebody. For uh, what are you? What do you feel most grateful for in your life? And that's something you might want to ask somebody. You know, when you're trying to get to know them, because it kind of gives an insight it's to them. It's going to lead into a number of other topics because okay. it's very much. Uh, if you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? Me. Yep. Because I asked, you answer. Yep. I know. I let you. I let you switch it back over. <laughs> for me it's easy it was uh i didn't like i was an army brat and i did not like moving every three to four years of right. my life yep and that it was true. pretty well jacked me up in a number of ways so uh to this day i once i got here and met you we haven't moved anywhere so i don't mind traveling uh i just don't like pulling well, up roots and leaving we've all moved houses three yeah, times yeah, well, in 30 well, years it's all in the same community but... Yeah, but so. we've not left. Hey, I hadn't left Cyprus in, since I was 11, except for one time. Yeah. Which was I actually a used move. to meet people. I was kind of on both sides of the <clears> stick. <throat> I liked the fact that I was moving only because I was meeting new and different pe people and places, but I hated the fact that it just ripped all my life apart uh, with friends and whatnot. Well, it kept you from being able to build relationships. That's why you don't like friends. Right. And you so, have one or two friends. 
Yeah, because I learned early on, if we're going to keep moving, then don't invest in anybody. But even when you have friends, you don't talk to them. Like, we go see Preston and Megan, and you and Preston get along great, y'all talk, you have fun. He's a great guy. You do, but you don't talk to him in between our visits. No, I... Megan and I talk between our visits. yeah. So we have more of a, what I... I don't put a lot of effort you into it. You don't. That's, I'm just trying to... <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say, you know... I mean, but, it seems that way because I don't... And I don't when your mom... You know, mom was sick. When your mom had her stroke. Right. There was one that was contacting you. Right. And you were just like, I'm fine. Leave, leave me alone. Right. Don't. And you've got this wall up and it's from all the moving. So right. you don't build relationships. Yeah, not real well. No. no. The only relationships he builds is with... Uh, well, with me, it's been a struggle... And his boys. Now, his boys, that's not been a hard hard one. Um, and he does pretty good with Crystal. Right. When Crystal and Cody are over and stuff, you're, you're pretty good with that. So, uh, you know, anyway. Okay, a couple more green ones. These were just reading mm-hmm. to y'all. We're not really going to answer them. This one, I have double circles around because uh, we've talked with so many different people. I didn't double circle it on mine, just on his. Yeah, but Isn't see, that it, mean? it is double on mine. Talk uh, about it. Because this one I felt like was like the 101. <laughs> if you're meeting somebody and wanting to know anything about them, to me this is the most obvious question that you would right? ask. And it seems to elude so many people, I guess, because we've had conversations with numerous people. I know. And it, the question is this. It's worded awkward, but it says, Take four minutes and tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. Uh, That's where I would start if I was trying to meet somebody new. It's like, hey, tell me about who you are, how you got here, you know, why, who, what, where, and when. You you want to know. So, I mean, I was always pretty good about... It's giving the life story in four minutes. That to me, it's right. kind of like, you know, I mean, I don't know if I can put my. I don't think anyone minutes, cares if but, it's four minutes or, right. you know, 40 well, minutes. Well, what they're but, trying to say is don't make it all about you right. either. So, because you're going to ask each other this question, you don't want it to necessarily be you for an hour and a right. half. Right. No, and back and the forth. Other That's person. what's being encouraged. So, yeah. But it, that is a good one. Um, if you could, this is another one we're not really answering. It's just a good yeah. question. Um, if you could wake up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability, what would it be? I'm actually, I want you to answer that one. If you could wake up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability, what would it be? Wisdom. Is that a quality? I would say that's a quality. Okay. <laughs> My, I'm thinking superpowers. Yeah, I know you are. And that's probably what everyone's thinking. I'd rather be wisdom. Oh. <laughs> that. They are knocking my makeup down, guys. Y'all probably was, couldn't hear the crash. That was a big crash, Maybe but it was high pitched. Yeah. They are knocking There's my stuff whatever, off my table. It sounded like about a dozen pens and p- p- papers. Oh, it's my makeup pencils because they take the lids off. Anyway, it's our kittens. They're yeah. playing. Okay, so the next question. Yep. Oh, are you gonna answer that one or am I? You, if you knew that in one year. You would die suddenly. Would you change anything about the way you're li- now living, and why? Well, to I me, don't this... know. The answer is yes. <laughs> How could it not be? The answer is yes, because if I know that in one year I'm going to die suddenly, I would change things of a little you would. bit. But all in all, I'm happy with my life, right. so there's not going to be right. a ton of stuff that I'm changing in the sense that. Well, it didn't say go back and change your life. No, no, no. I mean, like, right now. Right. I mean, would I go skydive because I'm thinking I'm going to die in a year? No, because I wouldn't skydive anyway. No. You know, I'm going to do the things that I would do. You know what I would do? I would make sure I saw my family more, which I try to do anyway. Um, You know, I would probably try to do... You would take a whole lot more interest in patching the holes in your life. That's for sure. I would make sure we you know invest a lot in the what really matters and helping people if we right. could um there there would be a lot like that that i would you, try to get more but no i, I would think change. that you would go <clears throat> all the way in mission wise yes that's yes i wouldn't you would go but all I the way in so i mean if, there, if that says anything right in the sense that at least missions <clears throat> is on our heart and we can't go as far as we want to go, but if you know you only have one year, but it would be my family. You and would just make it happen. Be my no family, and, and 
and ministering. That's that's all I would be yeah. doing. Okay, so next, are we say green no. or red? Oh my lord! I know. <laughs> red is us. Green is them. Okay, so another question that you might ask somebody if you're getting to it's know very them. Very difficult. Red and green. <clears throat> green goes to them. Go. Complete this sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could share. Just fill in the blank. You fill it in. So if you're, you know, now that's not something I would just answer with just anybody. I would already have a relationship uh -huh. with them. I'm just saying. Yeah. I wouldn't. I mean, because you do need to be careful when you're building these well, relationships and these you intimacies. You can answer it. Just temper it towards the type of relationship you're talking to. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a good um, point to put all these questions. Some of these are... Share with your partner... An embarrassing moment in your life. Right. That's not for us. That's for them. That's in green. No. You're having a really hard time. I am. And she skipped one, too. <laughs> Okie doke. Okay, right. so if you were going to become a close friend with your partner, please share what would be important for him or her to know. Okay, I don't like the way these are worded I know. at all. Okay, if you're going to become a close friend with your spouse, uh, hello, I hope you are. Right. Um, what would be important for them to know? So what would be important for me to know about you? Um, I can tell you what was important for me to know about. You needed to know about me when we met. So you had a daughter? That I had That'd a kid. Be that was very important. <laughs> Don't date me. You need to know I have a baby. Uh-huh. Well, she wasn't a baby, but... Yeah. Now, I might be a little bit of a political junkie. That might be a little hard to swallow. Well, you were a little weird the first date. I was a little weird Yeah. way before the first date. <laughs> I mean, the first day and I met you. And after that day, yeah. I mean, the day I met you. Uh-huh. And telling me you were 64 years old yeah, and all uh, this garbage. I had no idea what he was talking about. I didn't either. And yet, I went out with him again. Because I was adorable. That's all I have on here, unless you want to read the last couple. Um, I think what we want to talk about is w there's things that you need to get to know. So when you get to, when you're finding somebody that you're in a relationship with, that you want to date, that you want to get married to, you need to start asking some of these questions and get to know them and know them deeper. And, you know, what are their plans in life? And are they going to have kids and all those things? Because you would be surprised at the people we talk to that they get married and they have no idea if their spouses want to buy homes or buy cars or have kids. Have or, kids, that's a big one. That's a huge one. <laughs> or travel or, you know, pets or anything. And, and, I mean, those sound like mundane things. One of the questions we didn't ask that's on here was, do you trust your spouse, your partner is the way it words it, uh, with your um, <laughs> passwords to your social media accounts or your checking and savings accounts. And let me tell you something. If, you've if, been you if you're married. If you can't trust yeah. your spouse yeah. with those, you got some then issues. there's some problems. There's now, going on. when we're applying this to everybody else, <laughs> your siblings and your parents and your kids and stuff, that's you different. know, that's different. I'm not going to let anybody into my, I mean, my phone password and iPad password, well, you everybody put it on there has. for a reason. My you know. kids have that. My grandkids know it. My five-year-old grandson can get into my stuff, but he can't get into, you know, I mean, he doesn't have passwords to the social media or the, you know, checking accounts, but you know, he can get into my phone and my well, iPad. Well, let's say he can get into your phone at the level that he's allowed to get into your phone. Well, yeah. but I just... Not full access. You just need hey! to add something for your spouse to do. So anyway, we had a little bit but of fun. Most important thing about all the listing that we just did is it's not about the list and it's not about the question. It's about the relationship of the discussion. So when you ask these, it's not about rattling off questions. You know, it's like if you're trying to get through all this, unless you guys want to make it that way. We've done it that way. We just ask each other questions. But it's mm -hmm. mostly about the answers than it is about the question. Well, because the answers really are going to stir other. other questions well, and those create but a earlier, dialogue. earlier, so when you were talking and I asked you about what would you change if, you, you know, growing up, you know, it actually was an emotional right. answer for you. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't when we did it through this, but when no. I asked you earlier, it was. Right. <clears throat> so there should be some times that there's, there, it should bring out the intimacy, which is the whole point we're talking about. And everybody thinks intimacy means sex, and it doesn't. 
Uh, I mean, no, it can, but it means... that's not what we're talking about right here. We're talking about sharing being, innermost. Yeah, being vulnerable and sharing right. the, your innermost being with someone else. And um, you want to do that on different levels with different people. Uh, and, you know, even some family members, you may have to put up the wall because not all family members are created equal. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> you know, get crazy Uncle Fred. You might not want to be getting to know very well this yeah that goes back to our borders discussion that we had and a variety of other ones we could bring up right now so tuesday so we're almost done tonight and um (laughs) we're gonna this next week tuesday night we are going to talk are we going to talk about what we talked about with our kids today i i i I, it's gonna i don't know because i'm about to announce it Okay, so we don't know what we're going to talk about on Tuesday. I don't know what we're going to But we had do some interesting conversation today. It would be a little risque. I don't think so. No. No. No? No. <laughs> Not if you do it right. No, we can do it without it being gross. I didn't say gross. I said, I said gross. <laughs> when did gross come so into the conversation? So we are going to talk about... Um, what did I call it? I don't. That's why I'm looking at you going, well, what did you call it? And now they're all just like, oh, my Sexual God. Sexual something one Oh, yeah, sure. That's just, <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> Wonderful. Everyone, look, they're all dialing off. Their names are dropping off the list. Okay, so we have some off. questions oh my God. today from some young people. No, you need to clarify. And we are going to address those questions. Um, and it's not going to be gross. And it's no, not going to be... No, it's talking about... It was it's uh, just Relationship basic, myths. Right. Relationship myths. Oh, that's what we myths. called it. Sexual myths. No, not want. sexual. Yes, it is. Relationship myths. <laughs> no. We actually wrote down... <laughs> no. Yes. I never wrote that down. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I don't know what we're talking about. It's going to be fun Tuesday night. I we're promise. Answering, <laughs> we're answering questions from our kids. So no, anyway, no, no, not we our indict kids. Indict the kids children on this. They're like, oh my, they're screaming right now, going, we did not do that. It's not our kids. <laughs> Other kids. That's not our kids. That's like our kids. <laughs> Uh, well, we do have people asking all around. It doesn't have to be kids. No, I get it all no, the time. There's no more of a child question. Oh, Your my son goodness. is here. So uh, I guess we have to go unlock the door. <laughs> and we will see y'all Tuesday. the cat, that's the son. <laughs> that's the son. He's home. And right. apparently he doesn't care that we're live. And he's he interrupting us. No, he's clueless. He does. I texted him. Uh, so we'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.